my tired hammered Grig, and this is another repetitive tunnel take. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, dang, made it home this evening after being gone for well, all week, um, doing a drywall job. Uh, to start with, there was uh, no current there, then. All week there's been no water there. I've been living there. I took a five gallon jug that has a like a on off spout on it, laid it next on the countertop and hang it over the sink, you know. This particular job uh, job has had a lot of work done in it. <clears throat> anyway. Got a current turned on in a couple of days and so then, then I was able to run the heater and stuff like that. Of course I needed that so my drywall putty will be able to dry like it should and all that good stuff. But anyway. But yeah, that was five days without a bath and came home, got washed up. Man, I'm feeling, uh, took the two girls out to eat and their mom's going off with some girls for the weekend and everything's quiet around here and peaceful and, and um, uh, had a good evening. Anyway, I'm, I'm full and, woo, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, um. So anyway, doing jobs like that. With carpentry, it can be like any other job that, that you do for a long period of time that you've learned very well. You know, um, it turns into, instead of a job or instead of a, a, uh, a uh, the feeling of a quest to learn something, it's nothing like that. It's just a repetitive thing. Once you learn how to do something and you're told to do this big thing over here for days, weeks on the end, you know, like this is going to be. Um, it's, it's like you're doing stuff and you just have this brain activity going on. You're thinking about different things while you're doing this stuff because there's, cause it's, it's, it's a brainless job. At that point, if you get good enough at it, you're not learning anything new, really. It's, it becomes automatic, you know. So I had a lot of things bounce around in my head the last week. Uh, a lot of nonsense videos, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, but anyway, yeah, enough of that. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, something I want to talk about. Um, I've been smoking some of that smoker's... Uh, Smoker's Pride, Smoker's Pride uh, Cherry, that stuff is garbage, y'all. Oh, dude, I've heard people, I think it was James uh, uh, Barrows was talking about Robitussin aroma that comes off of uh, cherry blends. That's, that's the only time I ever got that. I mean, it was like cough medicine or something. It was, that was tough, y'all. I've never had, I've never had any other cherry that that was that that was that bad it really was bad so i got five bags of this stuff i'm gonna save it for hard times i mean i, I, I try to save most of my tobacco like that you know come like okay now it could be a day that we can't get tobaccos anymore you know and that sort of thing i hear they have dropped the the tobacco tax idea i've heard that but I, you know you know you hear things i do know one thing that when you hear about a big tax hike coming, what it basically means is they're 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 bouncing. Everybody in Washington D.C. they're bouncing around these ideas, and you'll hear about what's going on. Looks like there's going to be a, you know somebody's calling for a, 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 a up on, up on on tobacco tax, and what this thing was was I think I think they were going to go up a hundred percent on um on a cigarette tax and they called it the something equality tax or something you know and uh of course everybody loves the word equality that's the way of pushing something through uh where, where it made the to the, the, the pipe tobacco tobacco was going to be equally taxed to the the cigarette tobacco now it's been way low compared to cigarette tobacco but then they're talking about, oh, it's going to be equally taxed. And it seemed like somebody said it was going to be 
to 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 be equally taxed to these to like cigarettes is it was going to have to come up sixteen hundred percent. That's what pipe tobacco was going to have to come up to 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 be equal. Anyway, we most of us older guys know how this works. You'll hear about these things, these ideas kind of beating around up there in Congress, and then you won't hear anything about it. It'll go through all these uh, committees. It'll take uh, six months for it to happen. All these committees, the, the, the news about it will become zero just about. I mean, you got to look so hard just to find out what's being mentioned, what's being passed in these committees and all. And then all of a sudden, it's a, it's a law. It comes up to vote, and you hardly hear about the vote. And all of a sudden, it's passed, you know. So uh, there's not much, uh, there's not much uh, ongoing information about it, and and that's that's why most of us guys are like, well, it's time, it's time to go ahead and stock up. Of course, all of us have known that for a long time. You, we need to have a lifetime worth of tobacco. We do. We need to have a lifetime worth of tobacco. Maybe a little bit more, you know. Maybe maybe our children might want some or something you know, later on after you're gone, you know. Anyway, so um, that's that, and uh, so that that's been bouncing around in my head, that sort of thing. So, uh, but um, yeah, the uh, the, uh, the 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 reason why I bought so much of the tobacco you saw that video where I was showing the tobacco I bought was because of that, and uh, the Smokers Pride Vanilla. Cavendish was so good. I said cherry's got to be at least tolerable, and it is. You know, but it's just not good. You know, not like the not like the vanilla Cavendish. That's for sure. And uh, if times get hard enough for no tobacco, I'll smoke that stuff. I sure will. Yes, sir. Really. Yeah, no doubt about it. Anyway, so um, that's that's what that was all about for me. Is 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 stocking up. Stocking up, getting the cheapest stuff I can get, so I can stock up the most amount that I can do on a on a particular dollar amount that I have to spend on tobacco that I saved over you know, the months, you know, and um, and that's another thing, guys. You know, save your money somehow, whatever it takes. Whether you have a separate account, put ten dollars a week in a thing. What's ten dollars anyway? You know. Four or five weeks, you know, you got yourself a, you know, you got yourself fifty bucks, and you can get you can get right much tobacco if you're buying bulk. That's two two dollars or two two fifty an ounce. You know, you can get right much tobacco. You know, and um, and uh, so don't think it's oh buying a lot of tobacco is out for me. Well, it's it is if you're constantly spending all the money that you got, constantly just burning through it. You know, cut some of your costs somewhere. If you're if you're having to live from paycheck to paycheck, cut a little cost. Don't go out to eat. Don't go take one one meal out to eat, even through a drive through. That's just that beats ten dollars all the pieces. Say no, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna take my tuna sandwich today. I'm gonna have a bag of I'm gonna have a a pack of nabs or a bag of chips in my vehicle and a two liter drink with a cup right in there, so I can so I can. I can get over to hunger pains until supper, you know, and be able to save my little, save a little bit of money. I'll take this ten dollars. I was gonna put right in that, uh, get it at that drive through, and I'm gonna take it and stuff it in this little pocket in the in the car somewhere, and that's where I'll keep my money. Because when I know it gets up to fifty bucks, I'm gonna make an order, you know. And I must say, you know, uh. Buying tins of tobacco, you can go through a massive amount of money and get very little tobacco. So, so find some of these bulk blends that you can buy, and, um, and find them and um, and uh, and buy them like that. You know, find find them and try them. You know, order two ounces. You know, and say, okay, I can live with this tobacco. You know, and say, okay, all right, I want, I want, I want, uh, I want, um, you know, uh, twenty five ounces. With my fifty dollars that I got here, it's it's not out of reach. That that sort of thing is not overly distant, really, for you. It just takes a little self discipline, which is something that's not very common today. Self discipline and self judgment is not very common. That's for sure. Think about what you're doing, why you're doing it, and.
and and beat yourself into submission to what you want your your mind to be doing. Yeah. Anyhow. Yeah. Um, well, this is ten minutes already. Jeez. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and cut this one short. And y'all have a good night. I'm going to sleep like a brick tonight. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs>